Air transport is an important mode of transportation. But, when it rains. In this video we will discuss about the topic. Plane, versus, rain. Before getting into the topic, let's take a quick look at the importance of runway roads for an aircraft. For an aircraft to take off, the first phase is to attain a critical velocity so that, it could smoothly fly. For that the aircraft move through the runway thanks to the powerful engines. The wings of the aircraft are designed in way that the air passing through makes a high pressure region below, and low pressure region above it according to the Bernoulli's principle and thus, creating a lift. And the movement of the flaps downwards makes a tilt, and aircraft rises. During landing, even before reaching the runway, the aircrafts are slowed down for safe grounding. The plane touches the ground in landing velocity, first with the rear axle and then with all the wheels. Afterwards, its progression on the track will slow down until the aircraft comes to a complete stop. This process become complex as the runway gets wet. Consider a tire rolling freely through a dry runway, rolling resistance force acts in the opposite direction of the motion and as a result, produces a moment on the tire in the rolling direction. But, in a wet runway, the water in the runway gets displaced into the ground contact region. Since, the tires of aircrafts are rotating at very high RPM. The wedge of fluid penetrates the ground contact region and develop a hydrodynamic lift force on the tire thereby, creating a layer of water between ground and road thus, total hydroplaning occurs. This results in extremely low friction. Studies have proven that the braking efficiency of aircraft is extremely effective even in a slightly wet runway which increases stopping distance in wet runway thereby creates riskful situations. There are several methods in order to reduce this risk. One of the effective methods is one called EMAS, Engineered Material Arrestor System is a bed installed at the end of the runways which is made up of sand and gravel. On aircrafts rolling through EMAS it get crushed and gets slowed by the loss of energy required to crush the material and hence, reduce the impact. Thank you for watching, let's see in another video.